This playthrough is rated T for teen. Who lives in a tangerine under the sea, Pat Sponge Bog Shorts. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome back here with another episode of Chroma Squad. In the last episode, we put we dropped the soap, if you know what it uh, if you know what I mean, and uh, we put that whole scene behind us. So now it's on to more jobs, more episodes, and everything like that. And as you saw before, we're going to deal with the poorest poorest boy he is. But before that, let's answer the mail. So. Hey, don't delete or okay, read, please. Well, if it was me, I would just delete it because that's just how I am. So, anyway, let's see what this letter has to say from Lewis Boots. Hmm, or Butts. Truthnetnetwork.org. Huh? Uh, hey, oh, hey, this is kind of crazy, but hear me out, okay? I just have to warn you from a very trustful source that we are we are 92% sure the monsters you are fighting are real. But you have to believe us. You must write an episode where evil is completely and utterly defeated. Hey, I know it sounds crazy, but hey, it's true. Also, from less trustworthy sources, I'm also only one who believes there's 52% chance that you're also part of a simulation of virtual reality. Hey, some sort of video game, you know? Hey, just in case, do not pull any power cables. If you turn everything off and we disappear, just keep playing, hey? Uh, huh. all right, we believe you. It's just, you shouldn't placate crazies, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say that for, just to placate him, so. Let's see what he says. Uh, ooh, uh. Yeah, permanently failed. Uh, one we twelve T T thirty two F Truthnet uh, DK signature and a bunch of gobbledygook. Well, that doesn't sound bad at all, right? Right? All right. Anyway, uh, let's see if we need to build up anything. We got some cash since last episode, so I do need to beef up all my weaponry at this point. So let's see. I usually like doing HP and stuff like that first before before damage so I can actually survive. If I hadn't, I probably would have gotten beaten by Dr. Soap in the last episode, so. All right, how's, let's see. How many boots do I need to buy this time? Let's see, two. Yeah, we'll just upgrade our boots. Let's see, helmets, can I hold off on that? Yeah, we're starting to get a little pricey here. I do kind of want to get, to, let's see. If I do that, I lose crit, but I get skill regen. Really, crit is such a low percentage that I, I might leave it on uh, you, maybe, on Flashy there, just because, you know, he might have a 15% decent, although it's still low. But at least with skill regen, I could get my skills to activate a little bit faster, so. Eh, actually, let's hold off. Well, let's see, five. It's not going to make a huge difference. Yeah, let's just go with health for now. Eh, where's the lowest? It's either, well, quite a few people, actually. We'll buy one for you. All right, let's uh, equip our, let's get some uh, weaponry going on here. So let's see. Yeah, we're going to buy the Avengers broom so we can get a lead, a little extra reach and an extra weapon. So yeah, it loses their gun ability to be able to shoot from far away, but I prefer giving all the characters their unique weapons. So it's uh Let's see how much money. So I can only. Actually, I might go with Scout first, just because usually it cruises critical. Yeah, see, it raises up to 21. Yeah, he loses his weapon damage, but yeah, let's do that. Okay. Do you want to do any. Uh... See, marketing's good, I think. Yeah, marketing's fine. Do you want to do anything for the studio? Probably, let's see. Uh, nah, I don't need crafting rate, just. Yeah, I might want drop rate. Ooh, global audience would be pretty good right now. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get drop. Well, we don't need drop rate so much right now. We need it later for the mecha. Yeah, let's do uh, audio, let's do the decent green screen, so we can get global audience gained. Okay, I think we're good right now. We don't want to spend all our money, so. All right, let's get today's episode started. So we're gonna fight Pat Sponge. Shooting, shooting at public spaces is tricky when you are an indie studio. In this episode, Chroma Squad is has to deal very quickly with a deep sea threat. Max Science 2000 location of the park. First episode, first part, uh, defeat the boss monster with a finishing move. Keep all actors above 50. Ooh, that might be a bit tough. Um, actually, now that I know that, let's, uh, let's buy, yeah, let's buy you a helmet too. Okay. 
Yeah, I forgot about I forgot about that one. That one might be a bit tough. So we'll see what happens. I think I should be fine, but you never know. Yeah, I probably want to have the lead take the role on all this. Isn't that Bob? Eh, don't call me flashy. My name is Pat. Pat Sponge and my secret plan is to rule the city. <laughs> Sorry, I can't really do a SpongeBob SquarePants impression. I mean, Pat Sponge impression. This is what you call a secret plan, buddy. Well, it's no secret that the best thing about a secret is secretly telling someone your secret. <laughs> Thereby adding another secret to their secret collection. A secret secretly... Uh, what? Whatever you're, whatever you're not going anywhere, monster. Minions, uh, let's hunt these little jellies. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was thinking at first they were gonna be fish people, but nope. Here we are. Help just right, boss. All right, let's let's see how we deal with the uh, might. We have to be careful on this one. So we definitely want lead to go first. So, so that way you can uh, you can take the initial hits. Uh, let's go. Let's see. Yeah, the big thing is probably the first thing we should probably do is get rid of the uh, <coughs> get rid of you guys first. So actually, probably should. Well, never mind. I should have had her go first and do that, so that way I could get some other people to get to move to their own locations. But that's fine. See, what's your move? Oh, you can even reach down there. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's do. Yeah, let's get you way down there. See, you're not going to be able to finish them off by yourself, so. Oh, come on, man. No, oh, I hate that. Yeah, I shouldn't have, uh... I wasn't really... I was missing up on my uh, my movement rate. I thought I had it planned out, pre-planned, but nope, I messed it up, so... All right. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's uh, move you there and get you in line for everyone's attack, so... Oh, well, at least you're down there, so, Scott, so... Ow. Oh, nice. Yeah, here's where the possibility of not getting 50% is going to be is uh, from Pat Sponge hitting us. So. I should probably should just go and chromatize now. Yeah, since we took some damage, so. Yeah, let's go and do that. We'll move it right here. I was, like I said, I always like chromatizing after, after the initial area, so. Let's see. Ooh, move you there and get a world kick going on. Um. Uh, Ashley, where are okay you? Yeah, let's put you there. I took out you. Let's see. Let's get you there. Nice. Oh come on! Uh, I know that I know I could easily figure out like all the 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 um, damage for each of these guys, but I'm always just I'm just always hoping that the variables work in my favor. Uh, I could, yeah. Let's move you there and stun you, and then I'll dagger you just to get you a bit more damage. Not bad. So I won't take the, oh, I won't take the damage from Pat Sponge there. Or two attacks. Yeah, he's got multi-attack, but most, oh yeah, I never went over his stats. He's got 1,500 HP, 45 to 56 attack, 5% dodge, 25% counterattack, and he's a boss, so he doesn't get stunned when you do the uh, stun ability on him, so. Let's see. Yeah, 
we're really just gonna have to move there. You guys are pretty far away, aren't you? Yeah, let's uh, move you closer. With the rope. Get that eagle lasso going. Get over here! Alright, that. And then combo. Boom. Alright, who's the... Oh yeah, everyone else is moving that way. That should do enough damage. Oh, come on! I'm supposed to be able to do 40, man. Alright, that's fine. Whatever. Get back here, coward. Ow. Sponge armor? What does that do? Well, it, this is I can show it. Well, it's supposed to raise his defense. I don't know why it didn't actually show off his defense uh, thing, so oh, we better move her because she uh, got vulnerable, which means she takes extra damage if she gets hit, so. Let's do this. Basically to get you away from Pat Sponge for for a while so she she don't take a ton of damage. So At least from Pat Sponge anyway. There we go. Yeah, I'd rather have a uh, see you don't have your sword, do you? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I always try to I try to hit as far away as I can with a gun just to take advantage of that, so. Yeah, since he's got the most HP and Pat Sponge is right there, we're gonna have uh, have him take all the hits. That's usually how it works, but. Ow. Oh, nice. Ow. Yeah, it's, you can still take quite a few hits. Did you get vulnerable? No. No, you're not close enough. Because eh. it's uh, five shots, so. Yeah, that's not gonna work. There you go, let's move you. We can probably get all three of you guys in uh let's see. You want you're the one with the move. Okay, we'll just We'll do a case of you guys team working together and then dagger by himself. Oh, nice. Let's see, dagger. And dagger sometimes has a decent chance of critting, so it doesn't happen all the time, but... Yeah, see, so he still did a ton of damage, though. Alright, we're keeping our HP pretty... Scar is still pretty, but she's lost her vulnerable thing, so now we're good there. Yeah, next... We should be able to do the finisher next turn. Might go ahead and heal everyone just in case, though. Yeah, I might just leave everyone together. And let's see. I want to be in the general area because, let's see. Although, Circle of Friendship hits a pretty decent amount of people from where it's at, so. I don't have a rope, do I? Nope. Okay. There we go. Let's hit with the sword. Yeah, I was hoping you wouldn't move. But I can always move. Go down. Yeah, I can move down. So I'll do... Yeah, I'll just move you here just to make sure. Is that enough for a finisher? Nope. Dang it. Alright, well, let's uh, go in eventually. No, yeah. I just want to make sure to heal. Yeah. Oh well. Now, moved uh, vulnerable to lead. Yeah, well, everyone, every time he does sponge armor, it just goes to a different character. Because the way you think that ability would work is that it would uh, um, it would do something to him, but it actually does something to us. So 
You can take the damage though, lead, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and stun you. Or daze you. Sorry. Yeah, sure, let's do a combo. I think that should be fine without worrying about doing too much damage. Well, yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Okay, now we can finish. Go ahead and just heal Flashy just in case he gets hit or whatever. Even though he doesn't need it, but that's more just in case. Oof. That was cutting it really close. Oof. Okay, we got this. All right, let's uh, finish him off. Yeah, I could have done this sooner, but you know. Usually those 50% missions are the ones that I have to worry about, like failing, just in case. Just because, you know, you're not paying attention for like five seconds and then all of a sudden, boom, you get hit with that like one ability. If you're playing heroic, then that's a bit differently. You're more, well, camera just like went boom, just threw me down. Um, Beyond heroic mode, they purposely the enemy goes purposely goes after the weakest character, so you're more likely than not gonna fail it if you're really not paying attention. So, and now it's time to become super awesome and take you down. Is this time for the mecha file already? We barely any storing your dialogue in this episode. Well, we didn't really get authorization to shoot for so long here at the park today. And we can't afford to shoot anywhere else, so let's just be really quick about it. Yeah, every episode has its, like, mid-tier episode feel. Okay, back to our lines then. The sponge who got out of water for a second life. It's time for our mecha. Imagination. Yeah, usually all, not all episodes in the series have to be, like, super high quality, you know what I mean? So, all right, let's beat this guy legit without actually failing, which is actually, for the most part, pretty easy to do, so... Let's just uh, hit this guy multiple times. No, I'm not gonna get a crit every time, but let's see. Okay. And if it gets really bad, then I always just, yeah, then we'll do this. Yeah, see, it's really easy to like, uh, even in the early game, to like take out his bars of health pretty quickly, you know? I mean, you can, in the later games, there are like some, like it gets a little, you maybe might not do it in the first go, but I don't know. I, I, I never found this really difficult. So. Yeah, see? Ari. Oh, right. I got to remember to... I have to use defense. I, I forgot. <laughs> I was actually not paying attention to the director's instructions. I was about to eat this guy almost instantly. So let's uh, defend. I can take a couple hits too, so... Yeah, see? Well, we'll weaken him and then get those defenses out of the way. Yeah, I was, I was so, I was so reticent to just beat this guy that I wasn't actually paying attention to my objectives. So. All right, one more. But yeah, see how like even on heroic mode, this, these sections aren't that difficult. So, all right, now we can do final strike. So, all right, let's get a couple hits in and then do a final strike on him. That way we can guarantee the damage. Because it'll tell you, like, on the top, like, what its minimum is. So, yeah, 1,500 is where I usually go. So, yeah, let's fine. I'll strike him. Oh, and there's... I, I, you know, for some reason, I forgot he had a snail on his head. I don't know why. I thought it was, like, a weird hat. It, I, yeah, I, I, thought it was, I thought it was part of... Or, what was the episode? Uh, or, I thought it was a hat or something like that. He's like, it's not. Or, you know, anyway. <gasps> you got a bunch of duct tape and cardboard. Yeah, it's been forever since I watched spongebob so i think i only watched the first couple of seasons or whatever then i got moved on so anyway if you want to watch chroma squad yeah do so it's incredible sunday is almost over but i'm glad i watched chroma squad this was perfect chroma squad uh, that finishing move is very impressive for an indie series chroma squad anyway we got 1700 dollars, 165 fans yeah not as much as the last episode but sometimes it just that's just how it is so all right and we're good to go. And yeah, that was a short episode, folks. I hope you enjoyed that. So after being uh, Pat Sponge, we're on to the next thing. But what awaits us now? Are you ready to go into some hard labor for zombies on parade? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Chroma Squad. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.